What is up, YouTube? This is your boy, the original Renaissance man, Devon Da Vinci, and I am back with more comedy special snippets, and this is the return of Bill Burr. Now, I have some more uh, reactions I want to do for other comedians. I saw a few people mentioned. I saw Gabriel Iglesias. I saw Louis C.K. I saw um, George Carlin. Uh, I will check those out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I'll probably have one more comedian that I'll react to. Uh, I might take a break from Bill Burr because he has a lot of segments for his, uh, from his comedy specials, and I don't want to sit here and you know react to like 13 videos before I move on to the next comedian. So I'm going to have another comedian uh, right after this, and then I'm going to you know finish this, and then later on I'll probably come back to him. So let's go ahead and get into this. This is... Uh, Bill Burr, some people need lotion. Let's go ahead and get into it. Up from 50 years of screaming, sing, motherfucker! It's understandable what's The quality's just bad on this video, so I'm not sure what. <laughs> hey, do you know why so many whiteies do need facelifts? It. I love that word. I'm trying to bring it back. <laughs> I love it. It's funny. Whitey! You know why? Do you know why so many Caucasians need facelifts? because we don't know about lotion. <laughs> See that? Only half of you laughed. That should have been everybody. Mm. Yeah, but a lot of you were sitting there like, well, what about lotion? <laughs> what is this lotion you speak of, and what is the magic therein? All of my Caucasian friends uh, in the Just comment section. Just put it out there, you can use lotion on other parts of your body. Let me know if this is tick. true. <laughs> yeah. If you ever wondered why your dick still looks brand new, but the rest of you is starting to look like an aging pirate, because you need to increase the circumference of the lotion distribution. All right, you got skin everywhere. Go on, check yourself out. The bottom of your feet look like a prehistoric riverbed. Damn. That's not part of the natural aging process. You dried out. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging anybody. I didn't know anything about lotion. Never used it the first 33 years of my life. Never God used it. Damn. To one night I was going out with this black girl, right? She was getting ready and she was just putting that shit on everywhere. Just slathering it on. I thought she had like a rash or something. <laughs> what are they, like poison ivy? What's going on? She goes, no, I'm just making sure I'm not ashy. I said, ashy? She goes, dry skin. I went, wow. I guess I freaked her out a little bit because I was like, ah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Like, you probably like, freaked well, her out. white people get ashy, too. I was like, yeah, you know, I, I don't think we do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been alive for 33 years. No one has ever said, hey, Bill, uh, you look a little ashy. I never even heard that word until you said it. We grew up She's with like, that word. She's like, you're an idiot. Stick out your arm. So I stick out my arm, and ever so gently, she just drags her nails down. This smoke starts coming up. It's like pastry <laughs> flakes flying off, track marks. She's signing her name. She's like, you see that? She goes, that's ashy. You're ashy? Freak me out. I'm like, holy shit, I'm ashy. Well, I was excited. excited. <laughs> I got ash. I don't know anything about it. All I knew was that I always got itchy in the winter. I couldn't figure it out. I always got itchy in the winter. What the fuck do I get itchy? I thought it meant the bath towel was dirty. That's what I thought. And I would change it out and put a fresh one. Now I'm going to be okay. Take a shower, dry off, fucking itching again. God damn it, I hate the winter. <laughs> See that? That's why you got to hang out with everybody. Yeah. There's too much information in the world, and every group of people misses a little bit. White people totally missed the lotion seminar at some point in history. I don't know if it's because we can't see it. I think you know, that's probably the reason. Black people get ashy. It looks like they like leaned up against a chalkboard or something. Hell yes. You know, Hell it. yes. They miss it. Their friends help them out. Like, look at your ashy motherfucking elbow. What is wrong with Usually you? Usually it's never your friends. Right? It's we never miss that friends. shit the way black people miss the whole register your weapons summit. Mm. Right? That's true too, I guess. Just never got the information. <laughs> the amount of rappers who've been busted for the unregistered Glock in the car just blows my mind. It's like, why would you do that to yourself? Do you just want to make an album over the phone? Is that what it is? Is that like the new auto-tune or some shit? I don't know. No, it breaks my heart every time I see it. I just think, God, if he just had one white friend. 
he just had one white friend in his entourage. Dude would have been sitting there going like, is that thing registered? You out of your mind? Get it out of there. They got him scratching. That's illegal. That's like fucking three to five mandatory. Dude, how do you, how do you not know that? That's the question. How do you not fucking know that? It's like an unregistered weapon in the car. Like we're just going to go driving around with it. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Gotta get that under the chin scratch. So see, there you go, all right? You don't need a facelift, okay? Lay off the booze, do some cardio, moisturize. You're going to be fine, okay? Don't believe in these myths. Black don't crack. It's bullshit. They all put lotion on like every 20 minutes during the day. It's ridiculous. <laughs> they all get a giant oil drum with a shit at home. Every morning they wake up, they dump themselves in it, shake themselves off, and walk out the door absolutely glistening, glistening. <laughs> Oh, that ended abruptly. <laughs> um, yeah, it's very true. We black people, not only do we have lotion down, we have specific types of lotion that we prefer and that we have studied. This has been a long traditional thing. We have gone in depth about what type of lotions are best for black skin. You got cocoa butter. You got coconut oil. You have shea butter. There's a bunch of different things out there that you use that works perfect for the skin. Um, usually you only have to put it on after a bath or like once a day. Um, sometimes I will skip it if I'm run, running low on lotion and I don't have any plans of going nowhere. I might sit around the house a little bit ashy, you know, you know, scratch somewhere every once in a while. But, you know, you can get around that. Once I decide to go outside or something like that, then you got to break the lotion out. Or got to break the coconut butter out. I like coconut butter. Um, I also like coconut oil. Well, coconut oil works best in your hair, though. Again, I need you guys to name my afro. I'm not naming it Moody. Some some bastard sat in my damn comment section talking about name my afro Moody. Because apparently I'm cancer. And cancer cancers are emotional or some shit. I'm not emotional. I have feelings. They mean a lot to me. Anyway, that's been this reaction. If you like it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Um, you know, make sure you subscribe and share these videos. I will have more comedy specials coming up for you. Like I said, I have another comedian that I'm about to check out. Um, yeah, and make sure you check out the lotion and everything else. All my Caucasian friends, cocoa butter. You will enjoy it, I think. It should work great with white skin. I believe so. Give it a try. You, you'll find out yourself. Anyway, that's been my video. Uh, that's been this reaction. I'm going to move on to the next one. I will see you guys on the next one. Did I already say that? Screw it. This has been Devon Da Vinci, the original Renaissance man. Deuces.